I'm here at REIT World in Dallas, and joining me today is Vic Seth. Vic is Managing Director with Raymond James & Associates. Thanks for joining us today, Vic. Would you say the deal-making activity in 2011 has been what you expected? Uh, actually, to be honest, it's been better than what we had originally anticipated. If you'd asked me the same question either uh, a year ago this time or certainly two years ago this time. Uh, so we've seen a, uh, a fair bit of capital enter into the market and looking for transactions. Um, that said, the transactions and the volume has been largely in what I would call the trophy real estate assets. So either center city locations or trophy uh, properties, irreplaceable real estate is still trading uh, quite healthily. We haven't seen it get down all the way to the uh, you know, B and C categories of the, of the marketplace, but all in all, I'd say we're pretty pleased. Are you expecting transactions to pick up in the coming year? I wouldn't say that we anticipate you know, a significant pickup. Um, what had happened is I think there was a fair bit uh, of capital sitting on the sidelines and as things improved, you know, that flood of capital has come into the marketplace. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have you know, significant macro concerns. Uh, obviously the Eurozones and their troubles are, are going to weigh in uh, over this next 12 month period. So I'd say, you know, my, uh, I guess if I'm optimistic, I'd say it maintains the level of activity we've seen. Uh, but prices uh, keep going up, so I think people start to get a little bit more selective. Are there any particular sectors where you expect to see more activity in than others? Well, as I mentioned, um, you know, trophy assets are attracting a lot of capital. Uh, yeah, I was in New York for a conference not more than two weeks ago, and they were talking about you know situations where there's 30 and 40 bids for a, a you know 200, 300, 400 million dollar asset. So I'd say that uh, you know. That, that will continue to some level, um, but uh, besides that, I'd say multifamily is the space that we've seen a lot of activity, mm -hmm. and I continue to expect to see that cap rates are coming in and multifamily fundamentals are very strong. So I'd say if anything were to uh, stand out, it'll either be you know, New York, Boston, D.C., uh, center city stuff, or multifamily. How about IPO activity? Do you expect that to pick up? There is a... Um, you know, a large amount of equity required to recapitalize our sector, um, you know, over time. And I mean commercial real estate as a whole. So IPOs are an essential ingredient in that recapitalization mix. I think it, they'll just happen in fits and starts. Uh, today, obviously, we haven't seen an IPO in, in the last several months here, uh, certainly traditionally. And I'd say the next few months also traditional IPOs will uh, continue to have a more difficult time. But eventually, I think there'll be a settling out in the marketplace as those deals you know, continue to work. Um, if, you know, the whole wave of sort of the class of 09 was predicated on a large amount of distress mm -hmm. and these huge buying opportunities that didn't materialize. Instead, assets got repriced. So those companies without assets uh, underperformed in that segment, and therefore the IPOs in general as a class have underperformed. And until that sort of stabilizes or settles, settles out, I don't think you're going to see a whole flood of IPOs coming back to the marketplace. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Vic. You're welcome. I'm Carissa Chappelle for REIT.com.